Good afternoon. We are with Kurt and Kathy Stiefvater from Salem, South Dakota. Kurt, why don't you tell us a little bit about your operation? Well, I've been farming about 35 years and taken over from my parents' farm and do corn, soybeans, alfalfa, oats, and now in the last six years I've done started using cover crops. Okay. I have a cow-calf livestock operation also to about 140 head. We would have to harvest extra corn and chop it up for silage and create a storage place for that and then uh, distribute it throughout the winter, um, feed it through the winter for our livestock and now I pretty much, I don't chop any silage anymore. I will feed some hay but uh, otherwise it's pretty much a winter grazing type system. Well, I'm, I'm kind of fascinated about the system approach that you have here with You've got multiple things going on. Why not just simplify everything and become more efficient and just do corn and maybe soybeans? I mean, why? You've got cow calves, you've got cool seasons, you've got cover crops, and you're adding that and multi-species cover crops. Why are you doing all this? What's, what's the purpose to that? Uh, Long-term goal is to improve the soil or make it better than what we received it and entrusted to take care of and that's what I really liked and going to a three-way rotation with the corn soybeans and oats and then started implementing the cover crops as the for a winter feed source mostly for my cattle so it's corn soybeans oats and and are you grazing your oats or I raise the oats for grain okay, and then grain. sell that okay, yeah you sell that grain okay and then you're grazing your multi-species cover crops. Grazing the rest, yes. Yeah, yeah. How's the economics of that work out on the on the grazing the cover crops? Works great because I've saved about 40% of my hay usage. So I uh, cut down my harvested acres of uh, that I need to put up for alfalfa or grass for my winter feed for my cattle. Kathy, you're smiling. Are you the one who pays the bills and you don't have to pay those bills? Is that, is that what I'm getting from you? Here? No, but it's less bales to haul. Less bales to haul, okay. Yeah. So cows have, the idea is that cows have four legs and they can go get it themselves, is that right? Yes. Then there's also, uh, they're not penned up during the winter. They get exercise while they're uh, bred and raising a calf. And the manure, I don't have to haul the manure out. It's spread across the land as a part of the cycling process. What extreme events do you see here and how do you in your operation uh, account for that? As I keep going with my no-till and the cover crops, it's more even throughout the years that water is taken into the soil. I like that a little bit better. 